Installing a reverse osmosis system, it's simpler than you might think. You could go from this to this, all in under an hour. All it takes is a few basic tools and the rock-solid support APEC is known for. Clean, great-tasting water right from your kitchen tap every single day. You ready to get started? Good! Grab our easy-to-follow manual or follow along with the video. With APEC, clean water is just a few steps away. Welcome to APEC Water. In this video, we'll guide you through the installation of your APEC reverse osmosis system. Built tough for long-lasting performance and crystal clear water you can trust. Let's start by checking what's in the box. The RO system with membrane pre-installed, three filter housings, sediment and carbon block filters, color-coded tubing, pressurized tank with valve, lead-free faucet kit, feed water adapter and drain saddle, filter housing wrench. For replacements, check your manual. Most pre-filters last six to 12 months. The membrane, solid for two to four years, depending on your water. Time to load in the filters. Unscrew each housing and drop in the right cartridge. Make sure the O-rings are clean and properly seated. Tighten by hand, firm but not too tight. Use the wrench for just a quarter turn at the end. Don't overdo it. Cracks aren't worth it. Set the system upright under your sink. We recommend leaving it on the floor. Once filled, this unit's got some weight. Mounting it can lead to wear over time due to vibration. Shut off the cold water. Disconnect the riser, install the feed adapter, and reconnect everything. Now push the red tubing into the adapter's quick connect fitting. Push it in deep, then give it a light tug. If it holds, you're good. Drill a quarter inch hole in the drain pipe, horizontal or vertical above the trap. Clamp on the drain saddle and line it up with the hole. Insert the black tubing. Install the RO faucet in a half inch sinkhole. Then connect the clear tubing to the faucet base. Wrap the tank's threaded port with five turns of the Teflon tape. Thread on the ball valve tight, but don't crank it. Leave a slight gap. Then connect the yellow tube. First time fill takes two to three hours. Got decent pressure at the sink? Then your home's sitting around 50 to 60 PSI, right in the sweet spot. If you are operating below 40 PSI, add a booster pump. And if you're above 80, add a pressure regulator or feed water tubing of the RO system. Let's check your connections. Red for feed, black for drain, yellow for tank, clear for faucet. Use the quick connects properly. Push each tube in tight, then tug lightly. If it holds, you've got it. Turn the water back on. Slowly open the tank valve. Check for any leaks. Then open the faucet and flush for five to 10 minutes. Let the tank fill up completely, which could take between two to three hours. Drain it once or twice before you take your first sip. Cold water note. During winter months, cooler tap temperatures may slow refill times. This is normal and expected with all RO systems. That's it. You've installed your APEC RO system like a pro. Need help? Check out our manual or visit our website for more info. Watch our FAQ video for answers to common questions.